Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over two worked examples to demonstrate the difference between speed and velocity. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my other video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says, revisiting the hill walker example from earlier. So that is from the distance and displacement worked example video. So check that out if you haven't done so already. It says, if they took two hours to complete the journey, find the average speed of the hill walker. So to find average speed, we're just gonna use the classic speed distance time formula, but it's the one with the average speed in it instead of just instantaneous speed. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the average speed, so I've got the V with a little bar above it. And from the hill walker example, we had a total distance of 10 kilometers traveled by the hill walker. But notice we've got the prefix K there, so we need to replace it with times 10 to the three. So we've got 10 times 10 to the three meters for the distance, and our time is two hours. Now notice again that we're gonna have to do a conversion. So converting from hours into seconds, we need to times by 60 and times by 60 again, which gives us 7,200 seconds. Writing down our equation then, we have that distance equals the average speed times time, d equals v bar t, and rearranging for v bar this time, we have v bar equals d over t, and substituting in the numbers, we have 10 times 10 to the 3 divided by 7200, which gives a final answer of 1.4 meters per second. Part B says to find the average velocity of the hill walker rather than the average speed, which is what we just did in part A. So we're gonna need to use displacement in this question rather than distance. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the average velocity. Remember we use V for both speed and velocity, a bit confusing. Our displacement from the hill walker example was six kilometers, but we also had a direction of east or in a bearing of 090, but we'll need to take that into account when we're writing our final answer. I'm just gonna ignore it for now. And notice again that's in kilometers, so we need to convert it into just meters, so that becomes six times 10 to the three meters. And our time is two hours, the same time that we used for the average speed question in part A. And then again, converting that into seconds, it's 7,200 seconds once we multiply it by 60 twice. And writing down our equation, we have S equals V bar T. So this time we've got displacement equals the average velocity times time. And rearranging for average velocity, V bar, we have V bar equals S over T. And now substituting in our numbers, we get six times 10 to the three divided by 7,200. Once you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 0.8 meters per second. Now remember, we need to state our direction. So there's a choice here, and you can either state it as 0.8 meters per second east, or 0.8 meters per second at 090 with your bearing. So you don't need to write down both here, you just choose whichever one you prefer, whether you prefer using compass points, or you prefer using bearings. Question two says, a steam train from Fort William to Malague takes two hours and 15 minutes. The train travels at an average speed of 32 kilometers per hour. What is the distance traveled in kilometers? And just for interest, this is actually the train that features in the Harry Potter film, so it's the Hogwarts Express, but in real life, it's called the Jacobite. And in this question, we're asked to find the distance in kilometers. Now notice that we're given an average speed in kilometers per hour, and we're given a time in hours and minutes. So that means that we don't need to convert into meters and seconds for meters per second, because the question is asking us for a distance in kilometers. So the first thing to do is write down what we know, so we're trying to find the distance. We know that the average speed is 32 kilometers per hour and the time is two hours and 15 minutes. Now, because we're using two different quantities of time here, it's easier just to put it into one. So we want to use hours because we're using a speed with kilometers per hour. So we need to write two hours, 15 minutes in hours. So you should be thinking that 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So that's gonna give us 2.25 hours. Writing down our equation then, we have D equals V bar T. Remember, we're using average speed here and not average velocity. And substituting in our numbers, we have 32 times 2.25, which gives us a final answer answer of 72 kilometers once you put that into your calculator. So hopefully quite straightforward stuff there. That's all for this video guys. I hope you found value in it. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.